everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Messi Aibe's husband's first wife and her husband reconciles in the USA as they celebrate their daughter's graduation. For some months now, we've been seeing back to back accusation and counter accusation on social media platforms, dragging here and there. Kazim Adioti's first wife, Funshu, had claimed that. That she was not in support of her husband taking another wife, his second wife, Mesa Ibi. But then Mesa and the husband said that Kazim is a Muslim and he has the right to take as many as four wives because the religion permits him to do so. And about some months ago, the first wife had shared on social media platforms that they were supposed to be celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary that day. And coincidentally or not coincidentally, that was the same day Mesa was sharing some lovely photos of herself and the man during their holiday. So they were enjoying themselves having the holiday when the first wife was reminiscing on the past and saying that that was the day she was supposed to be celebrating the 20th wedding anniversary. As it is, Mercy was a Christian but then she has converted to the Islamic religion and even got a new name, Mina. She had even corrected people on social media platforms that it is Mina with H and people were saying, oh, is the name Amina and all that. And she, she even shared some photos and videos from Ramadan lecture that she had attended during that period. So Mercy Aibe and her husband have been giving updates on social media platforms regarding their relationship. Finally, after so many months, even though the first time I've been to Nigeria several times, we've not seen her with her husband. For the very first time, the two are coming together to celebrate their daughter. They have four kids together. This man was married for close to 20 years in the USA before he finally tied the knot with Mercy. So in total, they have four kids, a boy and three girls. And all of them were at this ceremony and they shared the updates on social media platforms. Tazim Adioti is a wealthy Yoruba filmmaker, movie marketer, and the founder of Adikas Productions is a quiet entertainment entrepreneur and needs no introduction in the Yoruba movie industry as he is behind some of the biggest movies in the sector. Although Adi Oti produced some of Messi's movies and attended her event, he occasionally produced some of our colleagues' movies. There's hardly any film that he produces that he does not feature her. In addition, she often plays lead roles in his movies. Some of the movies that they worked on together before tying the knot or revealing to the public that they are tied the knot and Messi played the lead roles in those movies include Traffic, Donna, Raboni, Ayomi, and Messi also coordinated his significant productions, namely Ekbe and Iwalesi. Messi's movie, JBO, a joint venture between both of them, was released recently. Before venturing into movie making, Kazim Adiyoti initially set out to read business studies at the Kwara State Polytechnic, only to gain admission into the University of Jos to study business management that same year. So he settled for the latter. And upon completing his studies, he proceeded to the US in 2001, where he became a mortgage broker for a decade. That was when he married his wife and mother of his four kids, for sure, a year after he got to the USA. Long before his foray into the Yoruba movie industry, Adioti liked filmmaking and entertainment, so he studied the business models of prominent Yoruba movie marketers like Wasu Afolayo, chairman of Wasai Film, and Kazim Afolayo of Epsilon Productions. Both men were his close friends, and they in turn introduced him to key players in the Yoruba movie industry. And by 2005, he registered his outfit, Adikas Productions Limited, and shot his first film, Ono Laafi, produced by Jayukuti a year later. Of course, he had challenges when he got into the movie industry. Even though he has been in the movie industry for quite some time, he rarely embraces the spotlight until now. But in a rare interview, he shared the hurdles he overcame while finding his footing in Nigeria. Having delved into real estate in America, he said he secured a few houses on a mortgage and collected rent monthly as a fallback plan. And upon returning to Nigeria, he faced peculiar challenges which rendered him broke. And his words had to go back to sell one of my houses. The turning point was because the money worked for me, which is supposed to take years. I got it quickly because I wanted to achieve the best. I invested a lot of money, but I became broke again because of the ripple effect. But by the time I bounced back, I already knew the business way better than the initial stage. And as such, I was doing everything better. But all of that is in the past. The astute businessman has built a strong brand and has won the heart of one of the biggest actors of the Yoruba movie industry. Even though the first wife had accused him that um, he was robbing Peter to pay Paul, and she also said that she met this man, she used her father's money and all that to help him financially when he was nobody, according to her. 
And she even went on to accuse Mercy. And according to her, Mercy had been sleeping her husband for over 10 years. And then she shared on social media, let's get the record straight here. This post is regarding an interview recently going around by Media Room Hub with my soon-to-be ex-husband in one of his numerous lives. I want you all to know that in contrast to what Mr. D.O.T. said, I did not, I would never say to, to have a second wife when I married to him. Kazim, you should stop painting the perfect picture of a marriage you clearly do not have with me. Ulua Funsho, Ashiwa Jikoto. Now your side chick can continue with whatever it is you're doing. But never come out to social media degrading me or my children with your demeaning and childish attitude. or not stoop to your level of rubbish and stupidity. I'm responding to the claims that they were never friends. Funsho said, as for you, Mercy, let's call the crap. We were friends. But the shame and your glam lifestyle will not let you admit it. I've been sleeping with Kazim since your son was only five months old. I introduced you to Kazim as my friend. I called and personally invited you and your ex-husband Larry Gentry to the 40th surprise birthday party that I did for my soon-to-be ex-husband. You were a constant friend of mine back then. I brought you close as a friend because I liked you. But you repaid me by sleeping with my husband Kazim. You were probably in my marriage for years now. I'm happy to let you know this is the only beginning of the end for you. I'm done. He's all yours. Enjoy. I'm really past this. Like I said in my first post, losing someone who does not respect or appreciate you is actually again not a loss. Well, Mercy claimed to have married Adioti because of her love for him and not because of the money. And an old video at Surface in which the actress advised women. And then a lot of Nigerians were accusing Mercy of getting married to this man because of money. Well, Mercy then claimed that she did not get married to this man because of money. She's also making her own money. She only got married to him because she loves him. Well, it is certain that over the years, Mercy has been able to make a name for herself in the industry and she's currently one of the uh, top actresses, filmmakers and producers. She's best known for acting in urban movies. She also doubles as an entrepreneur. She has ventured into other businesses apart from the acting world. And this woman has been in the movie industry over the years, uh, trying to create a niche for herself. Successfully, she has been over the years. She owns an Ashabi store, skincare store and a fashion store. Also, Adiotis first wife is a businesswoman. Even though she's based in the US, she comes to Nigeria often. But as they say, no woman would really love to share a husband. And we have come to the end of this episode where Miss Adiotis' husband and the first wife finally reunite months after the clash and back and forth on social media platforms. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.